Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have King Kong versus Godzilla. So they are right up in each other's faces. Uh, it's kind of, yeah, it's an animal drawing. I'll probably put it in the animal playlist, but um, it's like a big lizard versus a gorilla. So um, landscape orientation page, use a pencil and an eraser for this, definitely. Take your time and try have fun. Okay, so we're gonna start with Kong, our boy Kong, on the right hand side here, okay? So, um, yeah, so. So we'll start just kind of, we'll start with his eye, okay? Might as well. Yeah, so we got like, um, his eye is like here. Right. So we got like a curved line, like a letter C going back that way. And then it kind of comes down to a point back here. Okay, so he's looking this way, okay. And then his pupil will sort of be like here. Right, curled in black. So like an eye looking that direction, right. So... Kong then, right, he has a, like a big frowning forehead, right? So like, big, comes right down over his eye like this. And it's got like all these bumps and stuff on it. Skin lines and things, right? So going this way. Right, and it kind of, down got some lines to bring it down here and it goes kind of into his head back that way and then he's got like cheek lines there so in the front of his nose so it'll come down the front here and then in here we got like some eyelid lines there on top and bottom, just coming around his eye there. And then some lines for his cheek and his wrinkles on his face, just there. So his nose, it's real flat, so a gorilla nose, just a bump, just there. And then the nostril comes around on this side like so, and with a dark nostril in there. And he can have like, you know, skin lines sort of on his nose there as well. Okay, so then his top lip comes down from his nose, just here. So he is screaming, so he's like roaring, right? So his mouth is open, right? So that's his top lip. And then we'll bring his mouth open down this way, right? Curving real big, okay? And then his bottom lip will be like here somewhere. So like you could draw like a lip sort of line if you wanted just there. Right, so he's got like big fangs. So we've got like big fang just under the nose here, right? So like spikes down, spikes back up. And then we've got like a smaller tooth here. And then maybe a smaller one there as well. These are kind of rounder maybe like so. And this can have like a line on it like so. And then, so gorillas have like these front teeth that sort of stick out like real far, right? So we've got like a gum line bumping out around here, okay? And then we've got like a couple of these teeth that are kind of round, kind of like your human teeth, but kind of stick out like that, okay? And then we can see his other fang on the other side. 
like so. Right, so then we got teeth down here as well. So we got like another line maybe for just for the side of his, his mouth just there. And then a big fang curving out there. And then we got like another tooth here, maybe some gum line, and then another tooth there. Just two small ones. And then we can see the fang at the back, just in there. Then his tongue sticks at the back there like so. And his cheek sort of on the other side, you know, it's sort of, you can see it on the other side of his mouth, like that. And then, so in true monster style, we got some like drool and stuff coming down his mouth. So like loads of spit and stuff coming down from his mouth there. Maybe another line just inside for his tongue, like that. Okay, so Kong is like a real furry beard, right? So we got like hair all sticking out for his chin, right? So you could do this as clean or as dirty as you wanted. You could do it real scribbly if you wanted, you know, you could, you could really sort of go to town. But we'll, I'll just do sort of these sort of spikes like this, right? And it goes up towards his jawline, right? So we're gonna go diagonal this way. So think sort of big beard kind of thing going on. And then it kind of comes up here towards his ear. Of course, he is all hairy back here as well, all over his head. But this line sort of sticks out for his jaw, kind of there, right? So his fur goes like all the way around his head, basically, all the way around his brow, right? So we'll put his ear in here anyway. So his ear sort of lines up sort of horizontally with his eye. Just there. So that's how high up you want the jaw to go. So the ear will curve around like that and be like slightly higher than his forehead. And in there, then we have like bones and ligaments and things like that. So we got like a little bump here. And then a curve line kind of coming around like so. He's got a relatively small ear, but all sort of gorillas and chimps do. So and it can be like dark inside there. Like so. Right, so then he's kind of furry all the way around his face, right? So his, his brow will come sort of this way and it starts to get furry now, sort of coming down his head, right? So we start adding sort of hairlines coming down here. Coming around his face. Like so. And then it comes the whole way down, all the way down his mouth, right? So he's he's hairy everywhere, basically. that right and inside here you can add um, you know extra texture sort of for his jawline there maybe or his cheekbone you know um, like so and so on his lip you know uh, gorillas you know they're sort of wrinkly creatures so Add some lines like coming up his lip like this. I know he's not strictly speaking a gorilla, but he's designed off a gorilla, so. And then like those. Maybe like a bit of a 
shadow under his, his brow here. Like this. Right, so let's see. And so, yeah, as I was saying, you can add as much texture as you want. Um, it's kind of up to you. His mouth is kind of his mouth is kind of really outstretched here, so there's a bit more, a bit of a line sort of coming down there. Okay, so now so we'll do the back of his head. Yeah, so like comes out here, comes up, and goes around. It's a real long sort of, and it can be hairy, you know, if you wanted to make it hairy, like so. And we've got like another layer of hair coming up the back of his neck, right? So because his head is here and his show it meets his shoulder, so we got to sort of separate those two. But you don't have to, but just. Sort of something like that, right? And you know, maybe something coming down from behind his ear. You know, just these sort of texture lines will help to show that this is furry and not skin, right? That's what you're looking for. Right, so then his sort of the shoulder is like going off up back that way. And then we have his chest and his neck down here. So we have his neck, his neckline just there. And then a neckline coming out here. It's kind of, I think it's hairy, but it's kind of coming out that way. And then his chest, his chest is like, comes out from his chin. Is it under his ear? Yeah, like here, right? And then that'll sort of come down this way, curve around. And he has like a nipple here. And then chest going that way, chest line in the middle and another sort of nipple here. Then we have like chest bone or collarbone going that way. And then that meets like another, the hair that's on his neck and his shoulder, right? So we got like more hair lines basically. Kind of comes down all the way around here. We could have just some lines just to show where his shoulder is. Like so. And then some, some other neck muscle lines here. So he's like he's roaring, so it's got like crazy sort of. stretch on his neck. Like so, right? And then his stomach comes down like so. And he doesn't really have like abs or anything. I don't think. Maybe like maybe like a diaphragm sort of thing going on here. Nothing major. And we can see his knee or his thigh coming across the picture there. His chest going across this way. And he does have those scars on his chest, like a three prong sort of scar. So we'll add those. 
So one there and like scar lines inside. One here. Put some scar lines. And there, another one. Come in here. Scare lines like so. And I think there's a little bit more coming down his stomach, is there? Yeah. You can add these any old way, it doesn't they're usually in threes because of you know Godzilla has three claws, so So we'll do it in threes, like so. Okay, so his arm, so stretched out this way, kind of goes across Godzilla's chin. So do we, should we draw Godzilla first? No, we can we can draw King Kong's arm, and then we can raise whatever goes over King Kong's face. So we we'll just he's a big monkey arm. Right, coming out this way. And the underside of it is like here. And again, hairy is the way to go. Right. right like so. And like adding texture on the inside, you know, will help us. see that it's furry right and it, so it comes around his finger and his hand right so it kind of doesn't go the whole way necessarily so it's like like this kind of thing right so it's all furry like here And his hand comes out of here, right? So we got like a thumb. So take take your time with hands now. So thumb comes out there. And then it kind of comes around. Like so. And he could have like, you know, a knuckle line there and a maybe a small thumbnail. And then so thumb. He's got like stumpy sort of thumb, you know. There. And then it curves around comes out like so and then kind of bumps around here up got like a hand line just there and then so his index finger bumps here three segments one so one two so that's like a hand line one this one curves down and then around for the top of his finger, okay? And then we go back up. So one segment. Your fingers have three segments. That's why I'm saying segments. So you have like one, two, three, right? So you go one, change direction, two, change direction again, three, okay? And his finger goes under more sort of fur here. Fur goes actually a bit longer there, okay. And we can see a fingernail just down there. And curving around, sticking out. So we have some of Godzilla's hand here as well, I know, somewhere, so but we'll we can erase anything we don't need. So finger here, fingernail. And then other oh, finger on the other side, much smaller because it's like further away from us. It's on the other side of his hand. And that comes out there. And then maybe a bit of a fingernail. And we can add sort of wrinkles and, you know, skin lines and knuckle lines and stuff. 
because he is a wrinkly creature. Speaking of wrinkles, I'll just add a few more just on his face. And his brow here. Okay, but basically that's Kong. Okay, so now our boy Godzilla. Um, reptile um, right in Godzilla's face here, okay? So we'll start with the eye here. So right across from Godzilla's eye, we'll just do a similar sort of shape. More sort of lemon sort of like. Because he's reptile, his, his eye is on, the, is on the side of his head. Primates, eyes are at the front, like humans. So then we'll give him sort of an iris. Like that, right? Godzilla seems to have like a brown eye with a black dot, but it's like it's all brown, nearly. Can't really see a pupil. But anyway, um, Godzilla here, King Kong, sorry has a brown eye. Godzilla here seems to have a reptile sort of eye. Skinny, sort of. And then, the front of his face, so we got like a frown, sort of heavy frown, with lots of wrinkles and scales and stuff coming coming back this way, right? And it goes all the way down his neck, eventually, right? So this is the top, it comes across like so. He's like a spiky guy, so it starts to get a bit spiky as you go back, right? But we'll finish the front of his head first. So out from here, we got like his snout sort of coming out like so. And it's real square and stumpy, and so it comes like right down, like so. And then it comes along for the, like his mouth comes across this way. And then this comes back to like a heavy sort of smile, like a real big, well, he's not smiling, but you know what I mean? It's that big sort of mouth that like lizards have. And then it comes down for the front of his mouth here. Right. Then we have sort of that that sort of thing that reptiles have on the side of their face, you know, this sort of dinosaurs and things, when they open their mouths, they can see, like, skin flap or something inside here, okay? So then Godzilla has a gum line, right? So just like a bumpy line coming across his teeth all here. And then we got, like, gnarly sort of teeth coming down here. So sort of one by one. So there's like, there's like, it's not, there's no rhyme or reason to it, it seems like. There's like big ones mixed with small ones. The front ones are kind of big, right? So like, I'll do three like that. And then in between, we can do like small ones. Because you can see some of the ones at the back as well. Okay. And then, like really small ones here. They're tiny. Like so, and then again, we got like scales and lots of these sort of scales, more than I can draw really, right? And then his nostril is kind of flat along the top of his nose, right? So it kind of comes like real pointy back here. It's all dark in there. You could add like a line around like so. And then he has lines coming around his eyes so these sorts of things like a big one coming around here goes up and joins the back that way and more lines on the inside maybe like an eyelid line or something So, 
And these actually extend, so like that one there, and then one like extends down all well, this way, coming down around his face, it seems. And then like, you know, more sort of scaly, wrinkly sort of lines on it, but you don't have to do too much of that. Okay, it joins his snout area there. And you can add like scales and bumping sort of texture lines like that. And he has an ear somewhere up here, so I'm gonna guess. So it's like it's like a hole just in the side of his head. Somewhere. So I'm gonna put it here. Nice. Right, so somewhere there. Like so. Right, so then his tongue. So his tongue out from his mouth. Like so, back in to there, and then bump sort of down the middle of it. And then so more teeth down here. So like lots of these sort of small and large teeth. They get kind of real small as they go up back here. And then one or two at the back of his, on the other side. And we can just see like the other side of his mouth there. And then like our boy, uh, King Kong, he's got like lots of drool. So lots of these sort of lines are like drool. You know, coming down like so. And then his bottom lip, so it kind of comes over, comes over Godzilla's hand. So it sh will erase, um, not Godzilla, King Kong's hand. Will erase some of King Kong's hand just here, right? So his jaw then kind of bumpy, scaly, and then comes up here. Like so, and again, we'll add just some texture along there and so he's got like a sort of a lip line or something here comes down around like so I'm gonna add just like some scales and stuff on top texture lines and I just erased this line and as much sort of scaly wrinkly lines as you'd like to add Okay, so let's see. So the rest of his sort of neck, right? So we've got his neck sort of comes down this way, right? So and it sort of bumps every now and then. And it's got like scales coming down here. Right, 
So then we got like neck sort of area. there and this has all um, scales and stuff on it right so we'll go like back like this like so and then his the top of his head so we've got spiky sort of dragon-like spikes going off back this way. So real rough, sort of, you know, you don't have to be... Like so. And there's like a layer on the front as well here. So like some coming down the front here. So, and these could have like texture lines and things all coming up on them as well. Or, you know, if you were coloring it, you know, these parts would be blue, you know, if he had that um, sort of blue energy going through it. And then, so coming at the back here, we got like another sort of line for like a ridge or something. Going back that way. And then another one coming down his jaw. And then these will have texture lines going down the way. These will have texture lines as well. So going sort of vertically down this way. Lots of sort of scaly. Wrinkly sort of lines here. So you can be on drawings like this, you can build up texture like a lot or a little. It's really up to you. But you're generally just adding these shapes. So and and here as well, Godzilla has gills, right? So he's got like three, four gills. So like here. And it looks like you can see sort of into it. So it's a double line just here. And then it'll have like some some lines going like this kind of fish like, you know. And this is where that blue energy will come out as well. So and they kind of get bigger as they go down here. So, and then sort of another one here somewhere. Kind of like that. So again, more texture if you want, less texture if you want. 
generally he is very textured so he's got like lots of sort of wrinkle lines and things all over him right so his hand so we can see like a bit of a claw coming across here right so just right here we'll put like a nail right and then this will be a finger so it'll go back and it's kind of an armored sort of finger right so it goes all the way back like that and then the bottom of it sort of bumps back this way right and on top of this we've got like armored shell so just kind of you know each each one of these will be piece of armor like so it could be some lines and stuff like lots of like dots and trying to just trying to make them look like slimy and spiky and so we're putting his thumb sort of here right and this comes back like so and this is his thumbnail We got some scales on it, like so, and yeah. So like this is like his hand here, and then maybe another finger coming down here. It goes behind Kong, Kong's hand. So this is like a finger back there more sort of armored lines on the top of that finger and then another finger sticking down here his little finger I suppose even though it's probably the size of a house <laughs> right so so when to stop is always the issue when you're doing things like this So you can thicken up some of the lines if you want, you know, just to add a bit of shadow. But I think I'll leave it there. I won't make the video too long. Yeah, I think that's the best I can do anyway for now. So hope it was helpful. That is how to draw Godzilla. Gujira. Put some more spikes up here. I'm just making the outer edge lines just a bit thicker. We were nearly done, and then I decided to not be done. Sometimes, so what I'm doing really, just for anyone who's interested, I know most people are probably gone, but um, I'm just thickening up some edge lines. Sometimes, especially if you're doing ink, I know you should be drawing this with pencil first, but if you're going over it with ink, making the outer line sort of thicker sometimes can help change the look of the drawing on the inside so like the different weights of lines and stuff so see what I mean it just sort of you give some shadow to things and Things tend to pop up a little bit more, that's all. But anyway, I'll stop. I won't do the whole thing. I'll stop now. <laughs> Can't stop.
I think our color is nails black. Okay, you can keep going for ages, but I have to go have my dinner. <laughs> uh, so, stop Connor, stop, stop, stop. Okay, if you watch this far, well done. I hope it was helpful, I hope it helped someone out there. I know it's difficult drawing, but there you go. King Kong versus Godzilla. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.